Hi guys and welcome back to the Crochet Tour YouTube channel. In today's video I'm bringing you another free crochet tutorial and this time it's another Dangan romper pattern. So I've already made Monokuma before so here he is and I've got a video for that already on my channel um, but I decided to adapt this pattern and make one of the mono cubs. So I started with Mono Dam so here he is. So as you can see, he's a little bit smaller than Monokuma. But yeah, his pattern is very similar to the Monokuma pattern. So if you've already done this one, you can definitely uh, do this one. And yeah, so if you're not familiar with my uh, Monokuma pattern that I already have, basically how this works is we create two halves, one in white and one in black, or in this case, it'll be one in white and one in green. And then you'll sew the two together so it prevents you from having to do colour changes for the body and the head. Um, and this, I'd say this is a slightly more complex tutorial, probably not beginner level, probably more intermediate to advanced. But as always, I'll be showing you all of the more tricky bits on camera. So even if you are a beginner, feel free to have a go at this if you want to. Um, the written pattern will be available on my blog as well. And I am planning on probably making all of the mono cubs eventually. So if you want um, a different mono cub feel free to comment down below which one's your favourite and maybe I'll make that one next. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's get into what you'll be needing for this tutorial. For this tutorial, you'll be needing Aran Weight Yarn in green, grey, cream and white. Then you'll also be needing your yarn needle. You'll be needing some stuffing. You'll be needing your crochet hook. I've got a four millimeter crochet hook here to go with my Aran weight yarn, but you can size up or size down if you're using a different weight of yarn. You'll be needing some black embroidery thread. This is just for adding details to the face and the tummy. You'll be needing some fabric glue for sticking down your felt pieces, which I'll come on to in a second. So I'm just using Fabri Tac. You'll be needing felt in a few different colours. So I've got yellow, grey, cream, dark green and white. This is just for all of the face details. And you'll also be needing some scissors. And then you may want some pins to help you pin things together when you're sewing them down. But that's not necessary. Uh, if you don't want to use them, that's absolutely fine. So this is everything that you'll be needing for this tutorial. Sorry, one final thing I've got to mention is that you might want a stitch marker as well. I just use an offcut of yarn and it just helps you to keep track of where each round starts. So before we get started with Mono Dam, I just wanted to show you what we're doing with a Monokuma that I've previously crocheted. And the pattern for this one will be linked down below. I've made a video on this one as well. It's pretty similar to the pattern that we're going to be doing for the mono dam except this one's a bit bigger obviously um but i just wanted to explain to you that how we're going to do this to start off with is by making the two halves so one in green and one in white um, and to make these two halves of the body and the head we need to first make the head piece like this then we'll make the body piece down here and then we'll join them together in a later round and do a few more rounds and then that'll be the end of it and then we'll do the exact same thing in white. So just to reiterate what we're doing here is we're making two pieces in green, joining them together, making the exact same two pieces in white, joining them together and then we'll be sewing those two pieces together and then stuffing before we uh, sew all of the way around and that'll be the main base of our mono dam. Then we just need to make the other pieces so the ears and the arms and the tummy and the face details and the legs basically so yeah so now we'll get into making those green pieces to start off with so i've got my green yarn now and i'm going to start making the head piece so for round one we're just going to do six single crochets in a magic circle like that and then for round two we're going to increase all the way around so we'll have 12 single crochets at the end of round two
Okay, so that's the end of round two, and you should have 12 single crochets all the way around. I'm just going to talk you through the next few rounds because they're just standard increases and increments of six. So for round three, you're going to do single crochet increase and repeat that pattern five more times to get you up to 18 single crochets at the end of the round. Round four, two single crochet increase, repeat that five more times to get you to 24 single crochets at the end of the round. Round five, three single crochet increase, repeat that five more times to get you to 30 single crochets at the end of the round. Round six, four single crochet increase, repeat that five more times to get you to 36 single crochets at the end of the round. And then finally round seven, single crochet all the way around. So I'll meet you at the end of round seven. So I've come to the end of round seven and this is what it's looking like. So I'm just going to cut my yarn now, leaving a bit of a tail. We're going to need this later, so um, yeah, just make sure you leave a little bit of tail here. Okay, so that is the head piece. So now we're going to move on to make the body piece and then we'll join the two together in a later round. So I've got my green yarn again and this time for round one, we're going to do 12 single crochets in a magic circle. You may need to pull on your tail just before you've actually finished so that you can get those final few single crochets in. Okay, so that's my 12 and I'm just going to close the hole like I would normally. Just take your time. There we go. So that's round one. You should have your 12 single crochets all the way around. For round two, we're going to start off by doing three single crochets. And if you need to pull on your tail to tighten up that little hole again, then feel free to do that. I'm just going to do that now. So I've done my three single crochets and I'm going to do three increases across the next three stitches. So one increase, two increase, and then the third increase. And then I'm just going to repeat that exact same thing all over again. So three single crochets. One, two, three, and then three increases. Okay, so that's the end of round two. You should have 18 single crochets all the way around and you should be starting to see an oval shape start to form. I'm going to do round three with you and then I'll probably just talk you through the remaining rounds because they're just mixtures of single crochets and increases really. So for round three I'm going to start using my stitch marker actually so that I don't lose track of where the round began. So to start off with we're going to do three single crochets again. So just going to mark that first single crochet. Okay, then we're going to do increase single crochet. So increase single crochet. And then we're going to repeat that twice more. So increase single crochet. And then increase single crochet. Then we're going to do three single crochets again. So one, two, three. And then we're going to do the same increase single crochet and repeat that twice more. So increase single crochet increase single crochet increase oops single crochet 
So that is the end of round three and you should have 24 single crochets all the way around. So for round four you're going to do six single crochet, three increases, nine single crochet, three increases, three single crochet and that will get you up to 30 single crochets at the end of the round. Round five, six single crochet, then you're going to do increase single crochet and repeat that pattern twice more then nine single crochet, then increase single crochet and repeat that pattern twice more, then three single crochets and that will bring you up to 36 at the end of the round. Round six, we're gonna do six single crochet increase, three single crochet increase, three single crochet increase, nine single crochet increase, three single crochet increase, three single crochet increase, three single crochet and that'll get you up to 42 single crochets at the end of the round and then round seven to eight you're just going to single crochet all the way around so I'll meet you at the end of round eight. So I've just finished round eight and this is what the body piece looks like. Now before we start round nine which is where we'll join this piece to the head piece that we made earlier we're just going to do an extra 13 single crochets and that's going to bring us up to the top of the body piece here just so that we're in the right position to start joining the two pieces together so 13 single crochets Okay, so I've done my 13 single crochets, as you can see we're now positioned at the top of the piece and we're ready to join this to the head now. So we're going to start off by working 32 single crochets around the head piece and you want to make sure that the first one that you work in is 5 single crochets after the final single crochet of the head. So this was the final single crochet that we did, so I'm going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and then this is going to be the first single crochet that I work in. So I'm just going to do a single crochet in here. This is one, and I'm going to mark this as well, just so that I know where round nine started. So I'm just going to continue working around the head. I'm going to do 32 single crochets in total. And that should bring you up to this final single crochet that you did in round seven of the head. So yeah, I'll meet you when I've done those 32 single crochets around the head. Okay, so I've done my 32 single crochets around the head. We're going to uh, not do anything in these four single crochets, so just ignore these. We're going to start working into the body, and again, we're needing to skip four single crochets on the body. So we're going to skip, so if you look here, I'm just going to show you which ones we're going to skip. So one, two, three, four. And we're going to start working in this fifth one here. Okay, just like that. And then we're going to keep working all the way around the body back to where we started the round, which should be 38 single crochets around the body and should be 70 single crochets in total for round nine. So I'll meet you when I'm back to where we started. So I've now done my 70 single crochets that have joined the head and the body together. Obviously, you'll now be noting that there's this gap here. So this is what we're going to use that tail that we left from the head um, to close up with. So I'm just going to use my yarn needle at this point and just thread that through. And then I'm just going to do a whip stitch along here to close it up. So I'll just try and show you that nicely. I'm just going to start here. Go along the gap.
okay and that's it and that's now um closed up the hole it's up to you what you do with the tail you could weave it in at this point you could knot it on the inside of the uh head slash body but i'm just going to leave it hanging for now and sort it out later um so yeah that's what i'm going to do there so now we are ready to start round 10. So for rounds 10 to 13, so four rounds in total, you're just going to do 70 single crochets all the way around in each of those rounds. Just starting in this first one, I'll just show you the first few single crochets that I do. So that's one, and then I'm just going to be working my way around. like so so i'll meet you at the end of round 13. so i've just finished round 13 and this is what it looks like so now we're just going to do some extra single crochets after we finished round 13 so we're going to do 16 more single crochets and that's just going to bring us um, up to the top of the piece so that's my 16 single crochets so this is now what it's looking like and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut my yarn and don't worry about leaving a tail for sewing at all just leave a little bit of a tail like this and we're going to actually finish off with a fake single crochet so if you don't know how to do this just flip your work like I've done here skip the next single crochet go into the one after that pull that yarn tail through then go back to that final single crochet that we just did before this into the closest loop to us currently, so this one here, and pull that tail through. And as you can see, that just creates this fake single crochet here on top of the existing one, but it makes it harder to tell where the round ended. So it just looks a little bit more neat if we finish off like this. And then you're just going to want to um, knot that yarn tail on the inside of the body. So probably just want to do a couple of knots and then that will be it cool so that's this half complete there's nothing more that we need to do with this half so that's good all we want to do now is we want to copy all of the exact same steps that we did on the green piece but in white this time and the only one difference that you want is that you want um, at the when you finish all of your single crochets so you've done those extra 16 single crochets after the end of round 13 when you cut your yarn just make sure that you do leave a very long tail for sewing uh, because we're going to be sewing around in the white color so i'll meet you when you've got another half in white and if you've forgotten all the steps you can obviously just go back in the video and watch it all again but just do it in white and i will have the written pattern link down below as well so you can look at the written pattern if you want to so yeah i'll meet you when you've got your white half and your green half so i finished doing all of those steps once again but in my white color as you can see here and now i'm just going to cut my yarn leaving quite a long tail for sewing i like to leave a bit more than maybe i think i'm going to need just to be on the safe side I'm just pulling that through okay so now we are ready to start sewing the white part to the green part so I've got my yarn needle and I've thread uh, my white yarn tail through there and I've got my green half here now and we're just going to be whip stitching the two together so if you place your green half on top of your white trying to line up the stitches as best as possible the way that I um, find helps to line it up nicely is if you so if you go into the um, next available white single crochet that you have here and then you try and find where you did that fake single crochet on the green so I think it's this one that we finished off before because you can see it's slightly longer than the other two stitches either side of it so I think this is the right one and I'm just going to go 
in like this and then I'm just going to carry on doing that all the way around so I'm always going to go white green white green and so on because I'm doing a whip stitch you could do a running stitch if you wanted to but I think it looks neater with a whip stitch so that's what I'm going to do so I'm just going to keep going all the way around it is a bit um is a bit long to go all the way around but you know just put something on in the background while you're doing it and I'm sure the time will fly by so I'm just going to keep doing this until I get to a point where I've got a little bit of a gap still left so that I can add some stuffing so I'll meet you at that point so as you can see I've nearly finished sewing all the way around now so this is what it looks like and just before you finish you're just going to want to add some stuffing so I'm going to start adding some stuffing in this little hole here and you want to uh, stuff it quite firmly so I'm going to need quite a lot more than that but yeah I won't bore you with showing me stuffing all of it on camera so I'll just quickly uh, skip to when I've stuffed it all so I finished uh, stuffing my mono dam and this is what he looks like. You'll probably notice that the colour change line isn't 100% straight down the middle. It is a little bit lopsided. Um, that's just the way that this pattern turns out, unfortunately. I couldn't find a way to make it completely straight, but it's not particularly obvious, especially once you've added all of the um, face details and the arms and the legs and stuff. Uh, it pretty much distracts completely from the fact that this isn't 100% perfect. So don't worry about that if you just make sure that you stuff it quite firmly then that should give it quite a good shape um, that looks fairly symmetrical not 100 percent but um yeah so all you need to do uh, once you've added your stuffing is just finish sewing up these final few stitches here just continue doing your whip stitch all the way to the top so I finished sewing all the way to the top. This is what the monodam looks like. As you can tell, it is a bit um, lumpier looking on the back like this, but I've kind of um, pushed it around with my fingers to make it look nice and neat at the front because that's what really matters, I suppose. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to weave in this yarn tail from where I sewed everything. So I'll probably just do one final little stitch like this and come out here and then I'm just going to weave that yarn tail through to one of the white stitches like this and then I'll just do the same with any other tails that I still have hanging around so I'm going to weave this one here and then I've got this green one as well that I need to get rid of And I'm just going to cut all of those. So now the main uh, body and head is completed. So now we can move on to adding the face details. We're going to cut out the face details now. I'm going to start with the dark green eye. This is probably the hardest part, so I just want to get this bit out of the way. I think the basic shape is right but these bits are a bit too tall so I'm just going to try and trim that a little bit. I 
think that is pretty much okay. I'm not 100% happy with it, but it's so hard to cut these out that I might just have to live with that. So let me see how that looks. Yeah, I think that's probably close enough to being the shape that I was after. So that's the eye. Uh, and now we're going to cut out the other pieces. So I'm next going to cut out the white circle eye. This one's going to be a lot easier. So I'm just going to cut out a circle that's kind of comparable um, in size to, well, sort of in, in height, I suppose, to the um, other eye that we just cut out there. You should probably have a picture open for reference while you're doing this as well. So I think that roughly looks about the right size. I might just trim it a little bit. Um, but yeah, I'll see how it looks when it's on the monodam. Let's see. I think that is the right size, actually. So I'm happy with that. So that's that eye done. Next, I'm going to cut out some more white pieces for the nose and mouth. So I'm going to start off by doing a kind of oval shape. And this is going to be um, for the nose or the kind of snout area. And again, I need to have a look at this the size yeah I think that looks okay actually so that's gonna be the snout piece and then I need to do a mouth that kind of goes underneath it like this so it's kind of like a semi circle or half of an oval I guess it would be so I'm just going to try and cut that out now That would go under like this might just trim those pieces i think that looks the right size as well so i'm happy with that so now we just need to make a kind of rectangle shape for the mouth to come out here so i've just got some more white felt and i'm going to make that rectangle for the mouth i'm not sure how long it's going to need to be so I'm going to probably trim this. Uh, I'm going to put that on the mono dam and see how long it needs to be. So as you can see, it's a bit too long, but I do want to leave myself a little bit of extra so that I can overlap it a little bit with these pieces here to blend it in a bit better. So I'm just going to cut a bit off this and then I might trim it a bit more later if I need to as well. But yeah, I think that's the right length for the mouth. And I might just um, slightly um, take the sharpness off those corners a little bit. Okay, so now we're going to move on to uh, using some grey felt to make the nose. And then we need to use some yellow felt to make the dummy as well. So I'm just going to make the little nose out of the grey felt. It just needs to be a little small kind of rounded triangle shape I guess you could say so I'm gonna start cutting that out now going to take a little bit off the bottom actually and make it more of an oval okay that is fine for the nose i hope you can kind of see the face coming together now 
So I didn't film the last couple of pieces that I just cut out there, but all I did was cut out a yellow circle and then a slightly smaller one to go on top for the dummy. And then I cut out another circle out of my cream coloured felt, uh, slightly bigger than the circle that I did for the eye up here. And that's just going to be the cheek colour. So the final thing that we would need to do here is just to cut out some little strips of, um, you can use black embroidery thread or black yarn or even black felt. And that's just going to need to be glued glued down to kind of create the um the effect of teeth on the mouth so that's the next thing that I'm going to do now I've cut those pieces out of black embroidery thread now to make the teeth and also I'm going to add a little line on the um snout here as well and then obviously the nose is going to go above that um and it's all going to kind of layer together so I'm going to just glue down those um black embroidery thread pieces now just to get that part done with so I've got my fabric tack here and I've got some tweezers as well to help me. So I'm just going to pick up one of these pieces and just try and add a little bit of glue. You don't really want to add loads, otherwise it's going to um, kind of show through and be obvious. So I'm going to try and be very gentle with that. And then I'm just going to place that down as best I can. I'm going to use my fingers at this point to kind of press that down. So just like that, I'm going to do the same with the other two and with this piece and then I'll come back. So I've glued down those black embroidery thread pieces. I've also glued the grey nose piece onto the light white snout piece. And then I've also uh, glued the yellow circle, the smaller one, on top of the bigger one. Now I'm going to start gluing down the pieces to Monodam's actual face. And I'm going to do them in a particular order. So I'll show you how I do that. So I've laid out all the felt pieces on the face now. I haven't actually glued them down yet. And I'm just going to show you the order that you need to glue things down in. So for the eyes and the cheek piece, it doesn't matter because they don't um, layer on top of anything. So you can just uh, glue them down whenever you want to. But then for the uh, mouth pieces, I would recommend doing the this mouth uh, rectangle piece with the actual teeth on it. Do that first. Then I would glue this piece down next, so the, the lower jaw. Then I would uh, glue down the snout piece third. And then finally, you will glue the dummy on top of the uh, two mouth pieces there. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, and that's what I'm going to go ahead and do now. So I'll meet you when I've glued down all of the face pieces. All the face details are glued down now, so this is what it looks like. Um, and now we're going to move on to making the ears. So we're going to need our green and white yarn again for this. I've gone ahead and made one of the ears already, so this is what it looks like. And I'm now going to do the other one with you in the green colour. So you're going to need a white one and a green one. So to start this off, you're just going to do six single crochets in a magic circle for round one. And then for round two, you're just going to increase all the way around. Okay, so at the end of round two, you should have 12 single crochets all the way around. For round three, we're going to do two single crochet increase and repeat that pattern three more times to get us up to 16 single crochets at the end of the round. But we are going to be doing that in the back loops only. So just like this.
Okay, so now at the end of round three, you should have your 16 single crochets all the way around. All that's left to do on the ear now is just rounds four and five, where you're just going to single crochet all the way around in each of those 16 single crochets. And you're going to work in both loops again now. So I'll meet you at the end of round five. So I got to the end of round five. This is what the ear should look like. So you just want to cut your yarn, leaving a tail for sewing. So come back here once you've got one ear in green and one ear in white and we'll sew them to the head. As you can see, I've already sewn down the first ear here, so I'm just going to do the other one on camera with you now. So if you'll just need your yarn needle for this, just thread your tail through. And then you can use pins if you want to keep the ear in place, but I'm just going to kind of roughly place it with my fingers and then just kind of try and hold it in place. So I think this is about the right placement. So now I'm just going to start whip stitching around to sew that down. Just like that. And I'm going to keep doing that until I've nearly got all the way around and at that point I'll add some stuffing to the ear. So I'll meet you when I'm going to add my stuffing. So I've got a few stitches left to sew down now. So I've added my stuffing at this point. This is what it's looking like. So I'm nearly finished sewing down the ear. I'm just going to finish off the final few stitches. So yeah, I'll meet you in a second when I finished that. I finished sewing down all those remaining stitches, so I'm just going to weave my yarn tail through to another green stitch and then I can snip that. Just like that. Now I'm just going to have a look and see, make sure I'm happy with it. You can kind of push the ears around to get them in the position that you want. Just like that. And then yeah, cut your yarn tails so there we go that's the ears finished once again i've already uh, made one of the arms i'm going to do the other one with you now so for one of the arms you're going to want to have a cream um hand and then you're going to want to have the rest of the arm in grey and then for the other one that I'm going to do with you now it's going to be a green hand and the rest of the arm still in grey. So as I mentioned we're going to start off with our green yarn and this time we're going to do five single crochets in a magic circle for round one. And then for round two, you're just going to increase all the way around. Okay, so at the end of round two, you should have 10 single crochets all the way around. So for rounds three to four, you're going to single crochet all the way around. And then for round five, you're going to decrease all the way around. But just remember that we want to change to grey for round six. So in that final stitch of round five, you're going to want to pull through in grey. And I'll show you when I get to that point so that I can show you what I mean by that. So I've done my four decreases for round five and I've just got one left to do. But before I do that, I'm just going to add some stuffing to the arm. So if you just if you just grab a very small amount of stuffing and you can use the other side of your crochet hook to push that in or you can use your scissors. And just push that in like that. And I think that's going to be enough for now. 
and then I'm going to do my final decrease and as I mentioned I'm going to be changing to grey when I do this so I'm just going to get my grey yarn ready okay so I've got my grey ready and now I'm going to do my final decrease Okay, so now I'm ready to start round six with my grey yarn. So for round six, we're going to be single crocheting around in the back loops only. Um, this is a little bit tricky because it's obviously quite a tight round. We've only got five single crochets, so just take your time with it. And now that I've um, done a couple of single crochets in my new colour, I'm just going to cut this green tail too. So that's two. Three. So that is round number six complete and we should still have five single crochets all the way around. So all that's left to do to complete the arm is just to do round seven to twelve of just single crocheting all the way around in your grey colour. And you probably want every couple of rounds to just add a bit of extra stuffing to the arm. So again, you can just use your crochet hook like this to push the stuffing in when you get to that point and I just recommend doing it every couple of rounds because it might be quite hard to get it in if you wait all the way until the end of round 12. Of course you can also choose to leave it unstuffed if you don't want to add the extra stuffing but I just want the arms to be a bit more firm so I will meet you at the end of round 12. I finished round 12, this is what the arm should look like when you finished um, and I'm just going to cut my yarn leaving a tail for sewing. So these are the two arms, as mentioned, you need one in cream and one in green. So when you've got both of these, come back and we'll sew it to the body. So I've sewn down this arm and I'm going to do the green one with you now. You can use pins if you want, but again, I'm not going to be using pins for this. I'm just going to try and roughly place the arm so that it's symmetrical. And now I'm just going to start sewing it all the way around. Might just do a couple of extra stitches. I think I'm happy with that so then I'm just gonna weave the yarn tail through the arm and then I can just snip that so now we're going to move on to making the feet once again I've already made 
my foot that's going to be in the cream colour. So now I'm going to do the green one with you. So this time we're going to start off by doing 10 single crochets in a magic circle for round one. so that's the end of round one and then for round two you're going to do single crochet increase and repeat that four more times to get you up to 15 single crochets at the end of the round Okay, so at the end of round two, you should have 15 single crochets all the way around. So for rounds three to four, you're just going to single crochet all the way around. For round five, you're going to do five decreases, then five single crochets, and that will get you down to 10 single crochets at the end of the round. And then for round six, you're going to decrease all the way around, and that will get you down to five at the end of round six. So I will again meet you when I'm just about to do my final stitch of round six, because we're then going to need to change to grey in a similar way that we did with the arms, and we'll need to stuff the feet as well. So I've done my first four decreases of round six and this is what the foot looks like. I'm going to add my stuffing at this point. The hole is big enough this time for me to just push it in without the crochet hook. Now that that's done I'm going to do the final decrease of round six and I'm going to change to grey when I do this. Okay, so now we're ready to start round seven. So for round seven, we're going to, in the same way as we did for the arm, just single crochet all the way around in the back loops only. So that'll be five single crochets. Going to snip my green yarn tail. And then for round eight, you're just going to single crochet all the way around in both loops. So that's that. That's the finished foot, so I'm just going to cut my yarn, leaving a tail for sewing. I'm going to push those little yarn tails in so that they don't poke out. I'm just going to add just a tiny bit more stuffing, I think. So these are our two feet and now we're ready to sew these to the bottom of the body. Once again I've sewn down one of the feet and I'm going to do the other one with you now. So I'm just going to slightly tilt 
mono down bit of, again I'm not using any pins but you can if you want to and I'm just going to try and position the foot in roughly the same place and then I'm going to just start sewing all the way around Gonna check I'm happy with that. And then you can just weave your yarn tail through the leg. And again we can just snip that. So now we're gonna move on to making the tummy piece. So we need to make one large tummy piece out of our white uh, yarn and I've gone ahead and made this already because it's just the same first four rounds that we did for the body halves. So it's these four rounds on the side here, it's the exact same. I'll read them out for you again now but you can go back in the video and watch that again if you need any help on how to do those rounds. So for round one, 12 single crochets in a magic circle. Round two, three single crochet, free increase, three single crochet, free increase to get you up to 18 single crochets at the end of the round. Round three, three single crochet, increase, single crochet, increase, single crochet, increase, single crochet, three single crochets, increase, single crochet, increase, single crochet, increase, single crochet, and that'll get you up to 24 single crochets at the end of the round. And then round four, six single crochets, free increases, nine single crochets, free increases, three single crochets and that'll get you up to 30 single crochets at the end of round four so this is what it will look like when you're done and if you come back here when you're done I will show you once more how to finish off with a fake single crochet as that's what we're going to be doing here so once you've finished round four you're going to want to cut your yarn leaving a fairly long tail for sewing and then we're just going to finish off as I mentioned with a fake single crochet for additional neatness so if you turn your work like this skip the next single crochet go into the one after that pull the yarn tail through, go back to the final single crochet from round four in the nearest loop to us only, so this front one here nearest to us, and then pull your yarn through. And as you can see, now you can barely tell where the round ended, so that's really nice and neat for when we sew this down to the body. So we're going to make the other smaller tummy piece next just to get it done with and then we'll sew everything um, in the next couple of steps. So the small tummy piece is a lot quicker. Again with your white yarn you just need to do six single crochets in a magic circle. So that's literally it you're just going to cut your yarn again leaving a tail long enough for sewing oops <laughs> nearly nearly flung that away from me there there we go i'm going to just close up the hole a bit better and then i'm going to again finish off with a fake single crochet for neatness
So there we have it. We've got the large tummy piece and then the little tummy piece that's going to go on top of it like this. So let's get sewing. I've pinned the large tummy piece down in the centre of the tummy just like this and I'm going to just whip stitch all the way around now. So yeah, I'm just going to keep doing that until I've gone all the way around. I've sewn the tummy piece all the way around now, so as always I'm just going to weave my yarn tail through to another random white stitch and then cut that. And then we need to add our smaller white tummy piece and then just add a black cross with some embroidery thread and then we'll be done. I've pinned down the smaller tummy piece and I'm going to be sewing this down. This time I'm going to actually do a running stitch. If I can actually get into the stitch, there we go. So I've just gone into that one, then I'm going to go into another stitch from the larger tummy piece. Back through here. I'm just going to do this all the way around. I can probably remove the pin now. So now that that's sewn down, I'm just going to, again, weave my yarn tail through like this. And then we can cut that. And now we just need to get our black embroidery thread and add a cross. Okay, so I'm just going to add the cross now. Okay, and then you can just cut your yarn, uh, your sorry, your embroidery thread toes when you're happy with the shape of the cross on the tummy. So here is what my finished modem looks like. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye, guys.